What up guys? It's your boy Aki checking in here with another video. Right now I'm currently on the way to meet up with a buyer for one of the props I have under contract. The spread is actually gonna be a four thousand dollar spread. It's a little bit less than I expected for this property just because it was a duplex, but I tested out Craigslist, tried, tested out Facebook, tested out different RIA groups, and turns out that so the property actually uh, needed uh, some mold remediation that I did not think was going to be that big of a deal that scared a lot of the buyers away. So we still have it at a price where we can not only get a you know obviously a, a profit but we're gonna be able to move it fairly quickly now the other property that I told you guys about me closing before the end of this week is actually uh, the buyer ended up just ghosting on me which uh, which is okay because um, I'm putting it up on Zillow and it seems like Zillow gives the property a lot more exposure um, which is pretty cool so that is actually gonna allow me to sell the property um, fairly quickly as soon as Zillow approves uh, my uh, just my listing of it the, the FISBA that I'm listing so yeah right now it's uh, seven o'clock in the evening and still fairly light out so as I'm driving over there I'm actually gonna be doing some driving for dollars taking a different way to get to meet with the buyer so that's gonna be cool the seller so whoever is on owner on record go on this line so this same file is in the wholesaling elite group so if you want to get this go to the file section in the Facebook group they can pull a blank blank one of these um, so the party's the seller we got it quotations there agrees to convey to sell and convey to Maxwell Ventures LLC so that's it, my wholesaling company okay as the buyer and the signs as buyer that's the key word in this contract that allows us to assign this contract. See, and it form the rest of the it is, as you see, know. taking my uh, my own advice okay. here, listening to uh, a Max Maxwell, Maxwell YouTube video as I'm driving. You know, I'm not going to do it necessarily when I'm out there, um, you know, doing day-to-day -day work. But when I'm driving somewhere, you know, I get my get my knowledge in. Um, do you have an extra key? If not, let's go make one. The reason why I need the key is because on the day of closing, right, I need to have my contractors ready guy, bathroom guy, the plumbing guy, and they understand, they don't care, because all they care about is $27,000, okay? So that's how you explain why you need a key prior to, it, especially if it's a vacant house. And if it's a house that's occupied, just set the expectation with the seller up front. I love to set the expectation because when you walk in that house, you're the real estate expert. Most people only buy one or two houses their entire lifetime, right? So they- All right, so I'm at Starbucks right now. Just got the uh, the contract signed with the with the buyer. We talked about 30 minutes. Um, this, this is an OG in my market, been investing for 30 plus years and uh, found myself someone who is knowledgeable, um, who I genuinely respect and you know this guy's actually looking for a lot more deals been doing business uh, here in the Rhino Valley for a minute now so that's dope as hell man that's what it's about not only just making uh, you know wholesale fees and things like that this is a smaller deal one of the well, probably one of the small one of the smaller deals that I've done um, but this is a connection that I tell him about right now um, one of the probably I mean, I love every single deal I've done so far, but this is probably, you know, one of the most meaningful relationships. I could tell just because, like, uh, I feel like this guy really, uh, whenever you let people talk, you uh, really get a sense of, you know, what they what ha what what uh, they have on their mind. And 
you know um, I feel like that's very important in terms of building rapport and you know he let me talk a little bit about what you know what I'm doing what my goals are and we both have like a mutual understanding in terms of what we want to do going forward and how we want our relationship to work so long story short we're gonna get this uh, bad boy into uh, we're gonna take uh, take this to title tomorrow the assignment contract I'm gonna go ahead and get him a copy and then this one should be good to go but still wait on the other one the one I told you guys that I had um, a buyer for um, that didn't show up I'm actually at the same location I'm still at Starbucks here um, so that should be pretty dope I'm gonna put that up on Zillow and I'll let you guys know how that goes look at this got some some iced coffee here that I have from Dug It Down. It's about to go get me a, a little, probably a mango tea or something like that. Sip on. About to go get a workout in. So, yeah. If you like the video, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Guys, I uh, totally forgot to tell you about the most important part of this deal. Yeah, this. If you if you guys haven't tried this, this is a mango dragon fruit from, yeah, Hits. But, um... Forgot to tell you guys how I found this buyer. Crazy as hell, but it works. Super effective. So I basically made, I want to say 50 calls to, for different buyers. The way I did this was I literally went to my tax map and I went parcel by parcel um, with the, uh, sorry guys, brain fart. It's late in the day. What time is it now? It's eight o'clock so I've been out here for a little minute now um, I went parcel parcel by parcel on the same street that I bought the property on just looked for all the LLC's called every single one skip traced it you know you can use been verified at the Intellius or um, and the way I did that was I'll probably have to show you guys another video but I just basically looked up the LLC saw who the agent was and then skip trace that person and just called and asked is this the um, is this so-and-so properties um, are you interested in buying another property on that street and I called about 50 of them and found this buyer and yeah that that was pretty much it so if you like the video go ahead and like the video subscribe if you haven't already I mean I thought that was very important that like that's that's how I got all this to happen like this property was probably un unsellable for a couple of reasons but this guy really knew the area um, and I have a pretty big buyers list I have a buyers list of about 200 people but you know sometimes having a big buyers list doesn't mean all that much I mean I'm only, I'm only a year in the game I don't know everything but sometimes if people aren't investing in a certain area then they're not investing in a certain area so I just so happened to come across this property and that's what happened found the right buyer from the for the right property and they're like one of my buddies told me there's a there's an ask for every seat so you know yeah that's it you guys like the video now you can go ahead and like the video subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you in the next video peace